Today, we're taking a look at the Daredevil Omnibus by Frank Miller and Klaus Janssen. Welcome back to Comics Are Dope. I'm BJ Kicks, and this is another Omnibus Overview brought to you by the good folks over at Organic Price Books. So if you're interested in this book or any other collected edition, Go to OrganicPriceBooks.com. They are the best place to look for collected editions. They've got uh, items up to 50% off. They've got amazing discounts, great shipping, great customer service. Really the best customer service in the game. And I get all of my collected editions from OPB. So you can use the code BJKicks at checkout. You'll save $2 on your order. And it'll help the channel out, I promise. Um, and... If you're ordering three or more books like I just did, you can use the code BJKicks, ship it together at checkout. You'll save 5% while, uh, you know, making sure that all your books arrive in one nice, secure package. So huge thanks goes to Organic Price Books for sending this over for me to review for you. And uh, speaking of reviewing, let's go ahead and get into this overview, shall we? All right, my friends, back at the overview table with daredevil by frank miller and klaus jansen the omnibus uh this being the direct market cover featuring the uh cover for daredevil issue 181 a uh, nice cover appearance by electra not sure if it's her first cover appearance i do know that i have it slabbed uh it was a gift from my homie albert this is the direct market cover standard is on the screen um actually yeah i'll put the standard on the screen why not uh, let's take a look at what this collects before we get inside. So this has Daredevil issues 158 to 161, and then issues 163 through 191, and What If number 28. So, sheesh, man. Look at that. That's just classic art right there. So this is like known as the run that defined Daredevil, redefined Daredevil, but also like really jump-started Frank Miller's career, like just gave him a whole different edge. Uh, so let's get into this book. Uh, love this hardback, by the way, the art on here, all art by Frank Miller and Klaus Janssen. Look at that. That is just a beautiful image. But anyway, this, like I said, is one of those seminal runs that you hear about right um i always ask like you know because i'm newer to comics i didn't start reading comics till 2019 i'm always asking people like hey what should i read what character should i get into right and when it comes to daredevil it's like well where should i start and what i'm told is that daredevil has this very long history of just having really great writers telling really compelling stories and while stan's daredevil of course is great the real treat and the real redefining moment for Daredevil is when Frank Miller takes over as writer, adds a bunch of stuff to the uh, Frank or the uh, Daredevil canon, um, including Elektra, and really just redefines the character, gives him a gravitas, uh, gives the book itself some grit and grime and, uh, you know, dark, spooky crime stuff. And then everyone else just kind of built and built and built. And now Daredevil is one of the more acclaimed characters, even though I wouldn't call him like a top build Marvel character. Like when I go to the shop, Daredevil is not like one of the top sellers or whatever, but it's always good. Uh, right now I'm reading Chip Zdarsky's Daredevil. And before Chip Zdarsky, it was, was it Charles Soule or Mark Wade, One of the two of them. And before them, they had Bendis and Brubaker. And there's just been a lot of interesting writers that have kind of made their names, made their bones on Daredevil. But every single one, when you ask them, like, what's the best Daredevil? They point you to this, this stuff right here. Uh, work, work by Frank Miller. And what's interesting is that Frank Miller doesn't start this book off as the writer. He's the penciler for quite a bit. And then he starts writing the book and that's where the book takes a whole new direction. And now all of a sudden, Frank Miller is like one of the comics greats. And of course, Frank Miller goes on to write The Dark Knight Returns, 
um, Batman Year One, and a bunch of other <laughs> dark tales, and really helps to redefine the comic genre, uh, if we're being honest. Like, it makes comics feel more grown up. It's it's uh, Frank Miller, it's Denny O'Neill, it's Alan Moore. Later on, you know, it's Grant Morrison, like a lot of different people um, giving comics like a sort of graphic novel feel instead of just like funny books. And so a lot that we got to credit people for. But what I'm interested in mostly for this or on this is, yes, I want to know like how Daredevil shifts or, or how he kind of becomes who we know him as. And I want to learn more about Elektra, this assassin, how she comes to be what her relationship with Matt is. But I'm also very excited about the art. I feel like, you know, Frank Miller's art is just really cool. And Klaus Jansen, man, he's inked so many classic stories, including The Dark Knight Returns um, and so many others. I was just reading, what was I reading with Klaus Jansen inks recently? I can't even remember. It was, but he's like, he's still doing work up through this day, like modern stuff, like current stuff. He's still working. So that's cool. But I mean, I'm very excited to get into the world of Daredevil. Uh, you know, we got Kingpin, we got Bullseye. We're in Hell's Kitchen, New York, which is known for being a gritty, grimy area. Um, so I mean, if Marvel Comics is supposed to be the world outside your window, this is the world I'm trying to look at from Marvel. The Punisher's here. It's just, you know, a, a gruff fest. Uh, but yeah, this is another book that I'm excited to get into. This looks like a quick read. It's honestly not a super huge omnibus. We're about 600 pages in and we're close to the end. Let's just get there to it. I love how like every comic for like a super long time said Marvel or said Stanley presents. Which I guess is why Stanley would pretty much sign any comic ever. Because they all got his name on. I love these colors, by the way, too. Like, man. Just some really, really cool stuff in here. But anyway, I want to skip to the end. So that one, I don't spoil anything for myself. But two, we get to look at these awesome extras. <laughs> what if Daredevil were deaf instead of blind? That's what this question asks. So here we go. Daredevil Chronicles covered by Frank Miller and Klaus Janssen. More Frank Miller art. Got Daredevil and Black Panther. Well, there's some foreshadowing there. If you know, you know. A Frank Miller and Klaus Janssen interview. And again, man, the reason I love the omnibus format is for stuff like this. You get these relics of time. These You get all this context. You don't just get the story. But you get these inner thoughts, these uh, preliminary sketches, you get rough drafts, you get cover drafts, you get all these different things that help you understand how these classic stories came to be. Um, so I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. So we got a lot of process pages here. Um, what's crazy to see is just how rough these pencils are. And then you look and see how the finished product became. And it's like, wow, that Klaus Jansen, man, he's, he's doing some work. <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I very much enjoy it. Wow, we got a lot of extras on this. We're still, still extras. Got some posters, magazine covers. There's a lot here. So all in all, I'm excited to read this work that redefined the career of Frank Miller and also redefined the character of Matt Murdock, a.k.a. Daredevil. So this book, uh, like I said, I think the cover price on it was just $100. Not bad at all. You can get it for even less than that by shopping with our channel sponsor, Organic Price Books. Got to give them a huge thanks for sending this book over so that I can show it to you guys. And um, I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Until then, hopefully you're reading something dope. Peace.